तो है गाइस वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो ऑफ मेडिकल मैनेजर यूट्यूब चैनल तो मेरा नाम है आकाश तो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट ग्राम स्टेनिंग बिफोर दैट द मोस्ट कॉमनली आस्क क्वेश्चन व्हाट आर दी सिंपल और कॉमन स्टेनिंग टेक्निक्स दे आर दे आर सिंपल वन इज सिंपल स्टेन सिंपल स्टेन मीन्स वी विल यूज ओनली वन स्टेन एंड ऑल दी बेसिल ऑल ग्राम पॉजिटिव एंड ग्राम नेगेटिव आर स्टेन विद अ सिंगल डाई और सिंगल स्टेन नेक्स्ट नेगेटिव स्टेनिंग नेगेटिव स्टेनिंग इज अ मेथड वेर वी विल स्टेन दी बैकग्राउंड बट नॉट दी बेसिल आई ओके इट विल बी नेगेटिव स्टेन नेगेटिव स्टेनिंग एक्साम्पल आर इंडियन इन इंडियन इंक एंड नाइग्रोसिन स्टेन नेक्स्ट वी विल कम टू द इम्पिग्नेशन मेथड इम्पिग्नेशन मेथड यू नो अबाउट सिल्वर इम्पिग्नेशन मेथड इन डायग्नोसिस ऑफ दिस एफिलिस हियर द हियर द बेसिल आर सो थिन सो दैट दे आर नॉट विजिबल इन द लाइट माइक्रोस्कोप सो वी विल मेक ए कोटिंग ऑफ सिल्वर साल्ट ऑन देयर सर्फेस एंड दे आर विजिबल एंड नाउ दे आर विजिबल अंडर माइक्रोस्कोप नेक्स्ट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वन अमॉन्ग इज differential staining differential staining is a uh, when we will use more than two stains differential stain uh, they impart different colors to different bacteria or bacterial structures the common differential stains are gram staining acid fast staining and albert staining so today we are going to handle gram staining gram staining is uh, most widely used in the bacteriology and it is given it was invented or discovered by hans christian gram and it is 130 years old and it is still followed for diagnosis diagnosis purpose next procedure uh, first we will use four things uh, primary stain modern decolorizer and then the counter stain primary stain here we use a gentian violet uh, gentian violet means all the bacilli are stained with uh, same color then we will use iodine or modern modern means it will make a complex of primary stain with a peptidoglycan next we will add decolorizer decolorizer means few of the bacilli get decolorized and we, then we will add a counter stain or secondary stain that is carbol fusion After this, few of the bacilli are stained with purple or violet color that is become gram positive, and few with red or pink color that will become gram negative. So here you can see uh, initially all the bacilli are like uh, transparent. Then we will add primary stain. All are stained with primary stain. Then we will add modern. The the modern makes a complex with the peptidoglycan layer. Primary stain complex with peptidoglycan. As gram positive have more peptidoglycan or thick peptidoglycan, the primary stain is hold up. but in gram negative as they have thin peptidoglycan like 1 to 2 1 to 2 layer thick therefore they leave up the primary stain then we will add the counter stain counter stain will be taken up by the gram negative bacteria and thus they thus they occur pink or red color the principle behind gram staining is here you can see the gram positive bacteria has a thick peptidoglycan layer 50 to 100 layers 1000 uh, layers or something thick and in gram negative they have very thin peptidoglycan layer So therefore they are, they do not hold up the primary stain or primary stain get decolorized uh, instead of instead of uh, peptidoglycan the gram negative has uh, this upside lipopolysaccharide lipopolysaccharide is made up of lipid a o antigen and core polysaccharide next the integrity of the cell wall is essential for positive staining and uh, we know that when we will get the false gram positive uh, the the gram positive bacteria becomes gram negative when the cell wall is damaged means Uh, you can understand iodine serves as a moderant combines with the primary stain to form as a di iodine complex and get re stain inside the cell this is the most commonly asked question like what is the use of moderant okay Mo moderant forms a complex with a peptidoglycan primary stain complex with a peptidoglycan next uh, the gram positive in gram positive they divide into gram gram positive cocci gram positive bacilli gram negative cocci gram negative bacilli the most commonly asked question they will ask uh, name some gram positive cocci and gram negative bacilli like some they will ask uh, in gram positive cocci staphylococcus and streptococcus all the species of staphylococcus and streptococcus in gram negative cocci neisseria species and moraxella in gram positive bacilli actinomyces actinomyces bacillus clostridium diphtheria and listeria in gram negative bacilli remaining all bacilli like e coli klebsiella salmonella shigella proteus all will come in gram negative bacilli okay so we will see the demonstration now reagents required for a gram stain crystal violet and grams iodine for a primary stain acetone for decolorization and basic fusion or safranin for our secondary stain the first step of the procedure is to prepare our glass slide remember to place your slide uh, frosted side up um we're next going to draw a circle on the slide using a grease pencil which will help us to um contain the materials that we're staining and also to orient yourself when Uh, visualizing under a microscope use a calibrated loop to collect a small amount of water which we're going to deposit into that circle by gently tapping the loop 
Next, you're going to use a sterile loop to select a colony in which you'd like to visualize. Remember, just touch the tip of the colony. There's billions of bacteria there and you only need a little bit. Spread those around, get a nice even layer, and wait for your slide to dry. The next step is to heat fix our slide, passing it through the flame several times. We're fixing it, we're not cooking the bacteria, so you want it to be warm to the touch, but not overly hot. Now you're ready for staining. We're gonna start with our crystal violet, flood the slide with the stain, and we're going to let it incubate at room temperature for one minute. Crystal violet is a stain that will stain absolutely everything. So it's a really good idea to wear gloves and to be really careful with your clothes not to get um, any of this stain on you. After a minute, we rinse off the stain in the sink and we apply our Gram's iodine, which helps to form some crystal complexes of dye within the cell wall. Just like the crystal violet, we leave our Gram's iodine on for one minute, incubating at room temperature. And rinse in the sink as we did before. Now the next step is decolorization, and this is a really critical time in the Gram stain. What you want to do is flood the slide with acetone and rinse off quickly. You want to do this until the water runs clear, but you have to be careful not to over decolorize your cell, or Gram positive organisms can look Gram negative. Our final step is to apply our counter stain, in this case basic fusion. This is what's going to make Gram negative bacteria look pink. We flood the slide with a stain, let it incubate for 30 seconds, and then rinse it off as we've done in the past. Once this is done, once the slide is rinsed, you can blot it dry and you're ready to visualize your specimen under the microscope. So many people forget what are the timelines. So first is a primary stain. Primary stain is crystal violet. That is blue color solution for one minute. Then we will add the uh, moderant. Moderant is gram iodine. That is also for one minute. Next we will add the decolorizer. Decolorizer is variable. If, we, if they keep acetone, add it for two to three seconds. If they keep ethyl alcohol, add it for uh, 20, 10 to 20. Uh, acetone alcohol is for 10 seconds and ethyl alcohol is for 20 to 30 seconds okay next is the uh, last stain that is counter stain counter stain is secondary stain uh, that is saffronian saffronian or carbal fusion that you should add for 30 seconds so what are the timelines one minute one minute 10 to 10, 10 to 20 seconds depending upon what decolorizer they kept and last one is 30 seconds one minute one minute decolorizer time is variable then is 30 seconds all the best. We have already uh, uploaded our stool examination. Soon we will upload about acid first training. See you in the next video and take our subscription. It will be very much helpful and motivate me.